right. In this corner, we have the XPDS2 with a variety of programs, including 10 factory programs. And in this corner, we have the White's TDISL. This is circa 2008. This thing rocks. It is a pulse induction unit. It has a 12-inch diameter coil. You can see that compared to the 9. The inside coil on the 12-inch is a 6. Uh, this is called a dual field coil. Don't mistake this with a double D coil, nor is it a mono coil. This is a White's patent that was picked up by Garrett when Garrett bought White's. Okay, we're going to be running in maximum uh, gain, which is right there. That's gain. See it right by my nail? Okay, so we'll run that in max. It's going to be... Um, squeaky and noisy but you're going to clearly hear the break in the threshold and that's how this detector works you're running off of that all right firmware is 0 0.7 and away we go Let's start at the top. Fast, sensitive, general. You see 70, right? But it's not fun. You have to be right on top of it, too. Okay, this is sensitive. Better. On the class. This is a lobster, a lobster claw cra uh, class. It picks it up kind of, like really kind of, really sketchy. My advice to you is if you're in the sand and you get a sketchy target like this, at least uncover it and find out what it is and be careful when you do uncover it so you don't damage the, um, the chain. It's worth more if it's not in pieces. This is sensitive full tones. Really scratchy. Same nonsense. This is fast. Fast. That's good. I'll tell you the one I really like on the chains, believe it or not. Um, beach isn't too bad. Let's go, let's go back. I'm going to go to beach. Come on, get with it. All right, beach. We're on beach, I promise. See those goofy numbers? Double zero, ten, what was that, sixteen, zero, four, what a mess. Um, it's interesting how a good metal like, like silver is going to do that. That's the clasp. Good luck only detecting on the clasp. Show you another good one. Um, Deus Mono, 17 kilohertz. 
Sounds the best. Even to checks the chain. Okay. Okay, we can clearly see the outcome. The CDI rocks. On chains, it kicks butt. And even um, keeps up with metal detectors like the Garrett ATX, another pulse unit. We're just over the links. We're eight inches up, nine inches up. Well, okay, you decide. And there we go. All right. In this case, pulse units clearly beat out the um, the LF detector.